Alright, so we're back for set number two. This morning was a little rough. A little rough. Uh, the birds are just not being very responsive. We talked to some, some of my other friends that are in camp and on different farms and nobody had any birds talking this morning. We did see a few hens today moving around through the fields, but last night this field had a bunch of a few toms and jakes in it. It's a little hard to do a run and gun approach when they're not being very responsive, so we're kinda kinda shooting in the dark right now. Hopefully we get some action tonight and we get a bird down in eastern North Carolina. Here. It's a pretty, pretty tight blind setup, but a new, uh, a new Kuma 30 with a 30 inch axle axle length. It's just enough to get us full draw in here and a little bit of maneuverability, so that's been pretty nice to have. Pretty strong data set at this point that when I'm not seeing anything, it's because I don't have the natural attractions of, of wintergreen that goes out and seems to attract all animals into me. Um, so we're having a rough start. I decided it was it's time to get down to business, and uh, now this is going to turn the tide. So stay tuned. There should be should be a bird on the ground here soon. We were kind of running and gunning this morning, which can be can be hard when you're bow hunting for turkeys. When we had seen this tom in this field last night, the rock was here way over there yesterday. We got out here late and we set up along a wood line, no blind anything, and we just tucked back into some brush and we started calling. This tom started responding.
came just in on the string, straight from the decoys. Um, I waited for him to turn and hit my Jake decoy, which he did, and I lay in sideways and got drawn back. I just rushed the shot a little bit and hit him, hit him forward, um, a little low. So hit him low, watch him go. That's that's how it works. Um, I'm gonna go over here. This fielder ran out. Make sure I didn't. He's out dead over there or something. But I have a pretty good suspicion that he's gonna be alive. So this is what it is. It's a good time calling him in like that. But that's all you can ask for. There's birds here. Good. It's still fun, even watching my Tom run off into the sunset. A fun, interesting experience. Because even though I grew up in Missouri, I was—I don't have a ton of experience turkey hunting. Um, I grew up hunting whitetails, and then as I got a little older, my interest shifted out west eventually moved to Alaska, which is where I spent the last four years of my life. First opportunity I've had to go turkey hunting in a, in a very long time. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun getting back into this, this style of hunting and talking to birds. Um, calling that Tom in this morning was, was an exciting experience I haven't felt in a very, very long time. While I've been on successful turkey hunts and helped call in for for other people I've never actually been the one to pull the trigger on one this morning was the first time I ever shot an arrow at a turkey so it's, it's been a it's been a good learning experience out here that's why that's why we do this stuff it's for the unguided hunter you know we learn a lot through failure doing an unguided hunt that costs one tenth of the cost of a guided one I get to go out there and spend ten times or ten times as much time outside maybe figure out how to hunt that type of animal so I can do it in the future. With turkeys, I've always been kind of reluctant with that because there is those subtle nuances to it. And it's, you're actually communicating, trying to get them to come in. It's difficult in a lot of different ways. It's not a physically strenuous hunt like what I'm used to hunting in the mountains of Alaska. But there's a lot of technicalities to it that I've not figured out yet. I've failed enough times now that have it come together once, it's pretty exciting. So it's been, even though I missed that bird this morning, I still completely count this trip as a success because many time I can go out in the woods and learn something and do it better next time. That's well worth the time and investment that I put into anything. So it's been a pretty great experience out here in Eastern North Carolina. Crypt it.